Hi crafty friends! It's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and it's 2 o'clock on Tuesday um, and it's time for a yoga break. And oh my gosh, do I need a yoga break? <laughs> I have so much going on before I leave early on Friday morning to go to Charlotte, um, North Carolina for the on stage program in which I'm presenting at a brand new suite of products. I'm going to share it with demonstrators and when I get home I'm going to share it with you. Um, yeah, so I have that list. Um, it's my birthday, so there's fun there. My husband and I are going to go out to dinner and to see a fun movie. And you know what? I'm making time for it to happen. If something else doesn't happen, it'll be okay. Um, some of the something else's I'm working on um, are next week's Just Cards class. Um, I showed you the, the uh, whatever you call them, thread, spool, spool cards last week. Um, I'm almost done with the last cards. I got this card ready. Super fun. We're doing all feminine cards uh, for this coming uh, week. There's that. And then, okay, this is as far as I've got, but isn't that the cutest little teapot you ever saw? So uh, that'll be card three. So it's in process, but then I saw that it was two o'clock and I figured we better take a break and we can all get back to work. So sit comfortably on your stool or your chair, whatever you need, and we're going to roll the shoulders. So when you're ready, inhale them up and exhale them down. Ooh, I feel tightness back there. I've been trying to add some weight oh, to my workouts because I've got the cardio thing going, I've got the yoga thing going, and I was like, you know, I probably need a little bit more weight, so I feel a little soreness, so that's a good thing. Okay, then let them settle. Okay, nice and easy. Take one ear towards one shoulder. Oh, breathe there. If you're like me, I get tightness here all the time. I don't feel super stressed. I mean, I'm sure I'm stressed, but I feel tightness there. If you're looking for a little more, whatever way your head went, the opposite arm can just hang down. It's going to add a little more weight. If that's too much, it's okay to bring your hand back to your leg. Breathe one more breath here. Good. And then bring the hand back and slowly bring the head back. Good. Let's try the other side. Ear towards the shoulder. Ooh, and the sides might be different. Yep, I got some tightness going on there. If you're looking for a little more, let your arm hang down. Good. Don't force it or pull it or push it today. Just let it hang. This is 100% a feel-good five-minute break. Good. And bring the hand back and bring the head back. Good. All right. Bring the chin to the chest. Bring the hands to the heart. Interlace the fingers and then bring the knuckles forward. Good. Tuck the chin. Breathe into the back ribs. Breathe expansion and space. One more breath. Sometimes that's the most important part. Bring the hands in of taking a break. Push the palms down. Inhale, lift the arms up. Oh, that feels glorious. And bring it down. I also did some extra core work. I feel that in my belly. Good. Stretch here. And you can't see her, but my dog is here. Hi, Lisa. She's come to yoga. She recognizes the yoga teacher voice. All right, and then pick a side. Oh, lean to the side. Oh, there we go. Breathe. If it's okay, turn your head to look towards your elbow. If you try it and there's too much strain, bring your head back forward. One more breath. Come back up. Let's go the other way. So it's a long lean. It's active lean. And then if it feels all right, turn your head to look towards your elbow. Breathe here. Okay, so these stretches, you could do these standing up too, and that is totally okay. And bring the hands down. All right, give the shoulders a roll. Ooh, feels better already. All right, and then a quick little bit for the hands. So bring your hands up, palms up, and then gently close the fingers and the thumb goes on top. Ooh, and actually, see I'm so fancy because I'm presenting. I got a manicure. So cool. I never do that. I do the toes, but I don't usually do the hands, but I had to do it. All right, and then, well, I didn't have to, but I thought it'd be fun curl. Oh, like you're curling, um, you know, like if you would do bicep curls, but just curl the wrist. Good. Control it. So there's a squeeze at the top right there and a release. Good. All right. Now turn your hands over. It's going to feel different. And try to keep your elbows kind of in. Oh, and curl there. Ooh, okay. I have tightness there. So the tops for me were a little bit more tight. Good. 
right? And then turn them like you're playing one potato, two potato. I don't know if anybody plays that anymore, but that's the way. And then go up and down. This is a smaller range of motion. And check, I just noticed my shoulders were creeping up uh, my neck, so check that your shoulders are down. Good, and go there. All right, and then now we get to stretch them, which is the best part. But you wanna move them first, so wiggle your fingers. And then pick a hand, I do this one all the time. Arm comes out, palm away from you, reach your other hand to the fingers, and gently pull. Good, and the shoulders are down and back, the belly can pull in just gently, we're not forcing it in, just something comfortable. I'm so happy when you practice um, a little bit of yoga with me, and I'm super happy when you comment and tell me that you did it and that you liked it. So always feel free to comment. I'm even more excited if you wanna share it with your friends. Don't keep it top secret. Okay, other hand, palm up. Let them know that a little bit of yoga can make a difference. Even if they've done no yoga ever and this is all that they do, or you, it's totally okay. A little bit is better than not a bit, right? Breathe here. Good. And then release gently. Shake them out. Roll the shoulders. Okay, now we're just going to check how does the head feel now. So take, oh, mine feels much better. Still tight, but much better. Take one ear towards one shoulder. Breathe. Bring your head center, go the other way. All right, and so, just to warn you, if you're actually listening to this whole thing, I'm gonna do a few posts today. There's some cool stuff but going on with Stampin' Up. Um, some people are panicking. I don't panic, it's okay, it will all be okay. It is just crafting, and it's the best crafting supplies that there can be. And you know Stampin' Up wants to do the best thing that they can. So roll your shoulders down and back. Feels good to me. Thank you for joining me. Um, you can do these anytime you want. They're all under videos, or if you go to YouTube, you can find them. They always say yoga for crafters, I think, hopefully. Um, so anyway, we'll talk crafting. Tomorrow my um, storage comes in, so I'll do a video and, and show you that. I didn't expedite it, because I'm going on stage. I'm gonna expedite that one. So I decided I could be patient, but it comes tomorrow, probably tomorrow night. So thank you so very much. Stay crafty, do a little yoga, and I'll see you next time.